are joined by S. Ramchandram sir, uh, who is the former Vice Chancellor of Usmani University and also the Managing Director for the Idea Labs Foundation. And he's actually heading uh, the RUSA that has been implemented in the university. So, sir, uh, how was it exactly implemented uh, in our university? Can you elaborate on it? Uh, first, I tell you, I'm very happy to say that uh, Usman University is one among the top 10 state universities who are awarded this project. Uh, this is a central government funded uh, scheme uh, under which you know the focus is on innovation, employability and uh, uh, incubation kind of things. Okay. Yeah, so uh, in fact quite often our students and faculty members do quality research but they fail to take to the next level of innovation. And uh, uh, this is one of the reasons why actually uh, the, the RUSA is, uh, uh, you know, particularly in RUSA 2.0, uh, mm -hmm. they emphasize that, you know, the universities under RUSA 2.0 should take up these activities. And they have identified 10 top state universities. Yes. Um, of course, uh, there are various parameters on, uh, based on which uh, mm -hmm. they made the selection. Um, uh, one of the important uh, parameters that they have considered is our status uh, in NAC accreditation. Okay. Right. Right. And uh, of course, as part of this, and in mm -hmm. line with the objectives of the RUSA project, we have envisaged to establish various centers for mm -hmm. to start with, and uh, there are as many as seven centers which we are establishing now. Uh, one is of course. Uh, uh, the technology business incubator. Uh, this is meant for uh, all the students and teachers uh, who are uh, willing to take their research work further. Right. So uh, we can create a kind of um, uh, 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 you know product out of their research work. Right. So uh, we want to encourage these faculty and students to think in that line. Okay. We create that environment there so that you know the students and teachers engage in this process. That is the first one actually. In addition to that, we also are creating other centers uh, in various disciplines. One is a center for cyber security and cyber law. Hmm. Uh, as you know, now everything has become digital, but at the same time, the risk also has increased. To protect our you know, cyber infrastructure, we need to do a lot of research in this direction. And uh, there's a lot of potential for employment also. Now that we have established the cyber security and cyber law center, okay, that is one thing. The other centers as well, one is a center for microbial fermentation, which is there in the microbiology department. And there is a center for biodiversity and conservation studies, which is very important for all of us to protect the environment again. And then uh, we have center for Telangana studies and there is a center for uh, DR, uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Research Center. And, uh, uh, in, 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 in uh, addition to that, uh, we are also creating centers, uh, sub-centers, I would say, at uh, college levels, right. Uh, for example, Science College is now willing to start three centers and then um, uh, Arts College is starting two centers, Engineering College one center, Technology one center and so on. So, the, way, way, the purpose is basically to encourage the students and teachers to do the quality research in the first place. And uh, of course, uh, to encourage them further, okay, if the, uh, if the research is worth um, becoming uh, some innovation, then they will take it to the TBI, okay. Um, uh, as part of the centers, actually we are, uh, will be uh, uh, employing students on internship basis right and post doctoral basis and also doctoral fellowships we are going to give so um, basically you we want to create that kind of vibrant environment where yeah. students and teachers think of ideas new ideas actually um, i hope you know all these centers will take up uh, take proper shape uh, in the in the time to come uh, i am very hopeful because there's a lot of now enthusiasm among the teachers and students to commit themselves to, uh, you know, in developing the centers. Right, sir. Yeah, hmm. in, in, uh, in, in addition to that, hmm. there are other uh, developments also. One is, we are now, we have not now decided to uh, create a center for digital 
edu uh, education technologies. Okay, this is basically to uh, create quality content. I think this is a uh, you know uh, time actually. Uh, I think this uh, the university uh, should engage in this uh, production of e-content also. I think all of you know that you now the uh, online uh, education is becoming uh, the order of the day, right? And the university also has a uh, you know PG RRCD or distance education center. Right. So we want to create this online um, uh, e-content and 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 and. Uh, uh, you know, encourage students to uh, enroll on online basis also. Yes, sir. So, idea is to improve the quality of education, okay. And uh, the other uh, initiatives that are uh, being taken, uh, I can tell you, uh, we are creating now a high performance computing center. Um, in fact, already we have a data center as part of this, we are creating this uh, high performance computing facility where our uh, faculty members and students will engage uh, in high-end research which requires that HPC facility. Yeah. Uh, in addition to that, we also are creating now technology-enabled classrooms across the um, uh, uh, various departments. Hmm. Uh, we have decided to create such 100 classrooms, right, uh, which are, you know, uh, uh, technology-enabled. And uh, in fact, uh, in all these uh, classes, uh, we also should have facility to, uh, you know, shoot these classes, ongoing classes, okay. Uh, this will add to what I said just now to the e-content uh, we are thinking of. Right. So, likewise, there are a number of initiatives, I would say, um, uh, which are part of this, uh, the, the, the project. And uh, uh, faculty are particularly very enthusiastic in the beginning because their role is very, very important. Right, then, uh, uh, you know, it follows by the, uh, uh, you know, participation of the students. Right. Yeah. So, you have talked about uh, implementing cyber security, so the Center for Cyber Security and Cyber Law. Yeah. Also, you have been uh, talking about how uh, the e-content is also introduced to the students. So, because of RUSA, this is, uh, okay, this is 2.0 that have been introduced. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because of RUSA, uh, how do you think it is useful for the students, uh, faculty and basically the complete university? Yeah, in simple words, I, I would say that, you know, this project should uh, uh, create uh, uh, an en environment where actually students and teachers are engaged in quality education. Uh, yeah, uh, quality education means uh, many things. One is, of course, uh, quality instruction, okay, and uh, uh, we should uh, uh, use the technology to enable the students and teachers to engage in very effective way of uh, interaction. Okay. Right. Um, in addition to that, our um, laboratory equipment also should be strengthened so they do. Uh, quality uh, research, right? And uh, in addition to that, as I told you, the uh, students, um, uh, it should help the students, uh, uh, particularly in the thrust areas, mm. right? Uh, they, they can do research in thrust areas. That is how we, based on our strengths and uh, the requirements, we have uh, planned to create all those centers which just now I told you, right? Um, uh, it should help the students. Uh, uh, all that we create is basically ultimately, it should benefit the students. Right. So, how is it going to uh, benefit the faculty as well, sir? Yeah, because you know, uh, sometimes what, I'm, what happens is, uh, we are limited by the resource that we, uh, we are having here. Hmm. No, right. that, that gap we are filling hmm. through this project, right. We require hmm. some high-end equipment which is not there. So, um, uh, the, the, the faculty members want to do research, but uh, they do not have that kind of environment there actually. So, this project now enables to create that kind of environment, okay. In terms of uh, equipment, right, in, in terms of uh, the, the um, uh, uh, space, uh, all that we are creating. And also we are creating a mechanism where students are engaged by means of internships, 
right? right. On a short term basis, right? Uh, so we are uh, we are trying to uh, identify the talent and then engage those students who are interested in that particular activity, right? So obviously uh, it will enable the students to dive into uh, you know the latest uh, uh, the the topics, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, see, uh, mm. I hope. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, we'll be able to transform to that kind of, uh, 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 you know, environment. Yeah, now it's uh, the RUSA 2.0 is running. Mm -hmm. So in the future, there will be 3.0 and there are future uh, versions also. So uh, what are the measures that are being taken to sustain it? Yes. The development of that scheme? Oh, in, uh, in fact, in a, for every center, that is one of the uh, important component in the project proposal. So we made these uh, the, the faculty members to include uh, you know this uh, sustainability also part of the proposal. Okay. So after the uh, project expires, okay. So how will you sustain this center? Okay. And uh, uh, we had a very good positive and a very innovative approach to this. I should tell you they are all willing to run this uh, centers B and this project also. That is one thing. Um, obviously, as I said, you know, once this, uh, uh, this project ceases to uh, exist, then mm -hmm. we should be in a position to sustain this. Sustain, okay. yes. um, uh, and they come with lot of, lots of ideas actually. Uh, uh, see, the one, one thing I would say that, you know, in the long run, right, uh, we should be able to, uh, you know, interact with the industry, right. We should be able to establish a healthy relationship with the industry so that we engage the industry also and uh, which will mutually benefit industry and institution. Uh, once the industry is, is, is uh, you know, engaged and uh, they are brought into this, then probably it will help us in sustaining this all the centers. Uh, for example, we have a, a cyber security and cyber law center. Oh, right. Okay. And there is enormous potential for employment and research. Right. So it is projected that we require millions of, uh, you know, experts of the cyber security and cyber law in future. Because, you know, uh, you know, all our, uh, uh, you know, documents or data is now digitalized, okay, and it has become very challenging task to uh, protect that cyber infrastructure. Now we require uh, more and more these, uh, uh, you know, uh, experts in this area. Yeah. So that's the reason why we have created. Obviously, we'll be interacting with the industry. We'll be establishing links with the industry, right? Industry is also looking forward mm. to that kind of help, right? Where you know uh, the research is done here, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, probably this research can be converted into some kind of products which will help the industry further. So we should have that kind of, you know, relationship between the industry. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this industry and institutes cannot conduct themselves, uh, you know, separately. They should come together, right? Uh, I hope, you know, if, if people think in this direction, it will definitely help uh, to sustain all these centers. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for uh, shedding uh, light on uh, the topic. And thank you so much for spending uh, your quality time with us. And this was Professor S. Ramchandram, sir, who uh, gave a detailed explanation about what are the plans and how RUSA is implemented in our university, Osmania University. Thank you.